What's happening, fellas? Feast your eyes on one of the finest collections of motorcycles we've bought in yet. This is actually two collections. Here's a Kawasaki KZ900. Absolutely freaking pristine condition. Look at this thing. She's absolutely beautiful. <clears throat> 5,521 original miles on this bike. The next one is a super rare Benelli six cylinder 750 SEI. This is total unobtainium, guys. This is a Ferrari of motorcycles right here. 750, I'm talking six cylinders, boys. Benelli 750 SEI with 1,249 original miles. The next one, hello, hello, Dolly. Look at this. One, it's numbered. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know if you can read it. Six. Six cylinder. This is absolutely the Ferrari of motorcycles. It's a 900. Benelli SEI Cafe Racer from the factory with the six in the six, the quarter fairing, just beautiful. And there's no miles on this bike. I can't wait to get this thing out. Actually, there is some miles, 12,114 miles on that one, all original. And how about this? Not one, not two, how about three pristine Kawasaki KZ900s. Look at this thing, showing 39 miles on the odometer, folks. Where are you gonna find one of these? Nowhere, but here at Kaplan Cycles on the first floor of the New England Motorcycle Museum. How about this beauty? This one's stunning. 295 original miles on a double overhead camshaft KZ900. Absolute monster. And this is the one, this is the one that most people will turn to. Uh, the CBX six cylinder. This is, I had one of these exactly like this. Same color. Actually, mine was silver and, and red uh, instead of, it was white as a base coat, but it was Silver, had silver and red. This thing is a super sport, six cylinder, um, pro link rear suspension, saddlebags. This is the ultimate sport touring bike. Six cylinder, Honda, Honda quality. We've got a Suzuki GSX 1100G. This bad boy's got 3,449 original miles on it. This is an absolute monster of a uh, standard cruiser. Then we've got a BMW RS. This bike's got no miles on it. 1,524 original miles on this bad boy right here. Check it out. K100 RSS. Absolute dream bike. Then, made right here in Connecticut. Total Performance Engineering. Dynoed by Luz Cycle and Sled. This is the Total Performance 121 cubic inch. This is, uh, uh, I think it's 1,989 cc's if I did the math right. Almost 2,000 cc's of V-twin thumping. Rip your house off the foundation torque with a world-class paint job on here. Uh, soft tail, massive rear wheel, performance machine brakes. I'll get into the details late, lately. When the guy built this, he spent over $45,000. I bought it off the 70-year-old guy that owned not only that, but this knucklehead chopper right here. You just don't see knuckleheads. This is serial number 2,541. Even the engine cases are chromed on this. He's had it since the 70s. Uh, move, he's moving to Mexico and sold us this thing, and it's an absolutely gorgeous, stunning piece. But here's a Billy Lane chopper right here. You might have heard of Billy Lane. He's been on the Biker Build Off, Chopper Zinc, New York City. Um, that's a cool piece. We'll have that one up and running. This has a drag race motor in it. See the cylinders on the bottom that have no fins on it? This is a street and strip only, no warranty from SNS, set up for drag racing, street, street trouble. This one right here, New York City choppers. 100 cubic inch, 100 horsepower, the Silver Ghost, that's a beauty too. Um, and then we got a 58 pan roller here that was just under construction that has no motor, but it's got lots of good new parts on it, like brakes and everything. So we're gonna probably order a pan shovel motor for this to complete it, or, or maybe a actual pan head motor from SNS because they do make them. So guys, some killer bikes came in. Ronnie, you've seen a lot of bikes come and go. Give me, give me your 10 cents on these. What what is what 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 is your what is your favorite? One, my favorite, I like Kawasaki. So the KZ 900s of the batch, that's pretty cool. I've never seen a six cylinder Benelli 750. You see the 900? And the other 900, yeah. This one's pretty cool too. But honestly, the best bikes out of the whole batch, I would have to say this CBX. If you're gonna ride one every day, man, that is a world class piece. CBX and probably probably the burgundy and orange KZ, just because I like the color program. But yeah, nice. It's a beauty. Other than that, it's got a stellar lineup. Yeah, it's not every day that you have this, these many world. Oh, guys, this is only half the shipment. The other half is upstairs. We also got a ski nautique that just came in with 389 miles. The motor's brand new. You could eat off of it. Owned by my buddy Mark Underwood that passed away, sadly. 
but this is going up for sale. If you're looking for a, a pristine 2001 Ski Nautique, give us a call. What's up, Ronnie? Y'all know the deal. What oh. you got there? A little breakfast sandwich, a little coffee. All right, man. Yes, sir. Gotta have a little caffeine, a little nicotine for the team. How about this Husqvarna right there, Profab? That's a factory. Oh, RMZilla, TMZilla lives again. We got the CB75816 coming down the pike. Well, I got to test ride this today. Work, work, work. All these nice bikes. Ah, the 700, waiting for the new coil. If you're wondering what happened, she fried the coil on the dyno, boys. The second one, the uh, Seder was putting out too much power for it. So um, I think they under spec the coil from the factory. Jimmy! Sun's out, guns out, son. Sun's out, guns out. Baby. How you doing, brother? The sun be shining on me today. You got a classic over here, huh? Yes. Oh, we need a dent magician. We got a dent. Aisle one. Yeah. Aisle one. Yeah, he's coming. What's going on? Go sun's out, guns out. Guns out. All right. So uh, what do we got here? A classic Yamaha? Yeah, Jimmy's giving a little tunage. What's up, manic mechanic? So you usually have a four or six cylinder bike on your on your bench or you're building some race motorcycle. What do we got today? Uh, CM 185 we're going to bring back to life here. That's a little honey, huh? A little, little uh, Honda twin cylinder. What's up, Jackie? Hey, bud. Hey, bud. Lance is spinning some wrenches over here on this classic 42 miles on this bike, guys. Where are you going to find a 50-year-old trail bike with turn signals and everything with 42 miles on it right here from the Iron Curtain? Pipe polish, courtesy of Ronnie. I'm leaving for Rockville soon. Gonna be a gas gas tycoon. Look at this lineup in here, folks. Hell yeah. If you're looking for a brand new gas gas, give us a call. 860-454-7024. Got a few left that haven't been spoken for. Here's a brand new 350. Four stroke. So, um, Junior, uh, who, um, what's actually left for sale? Guys, we have one EC250 left sitting right there. This one? Yeah, and then we have a MC350F, which is in the corner there. Just assembled. Actually, yesterday, both of these bikes came up. So, we have the EC250, the Enduro model, headlight, taillight, six speed, electric start, counterbalanced, just pull the trickery. And then that 350 is a sweetheart. Actually, we have, uh, well, not too many 350s allocated, and there's only one, one left. So, so uh, these are all essentially sold except for two. That's right. Yep. And those two are going out. Billy Ainsworth and Billy Ainsworth Jr. Oh, hey, I want to, I want to do a video of them when they come in. Those, those guys are legends in the motor, motorcycle community around here. Yep. The Ainsworths. Got, got all the docks set up. Wizard just got done finishing. These guys, when you buy a bike from us, it's Wizard tuned right out of the box. Uh, they're set up tuned gone through 100 point inspection by wizard they're started through through three heat cycles so you're getting it done by a factory level mechanic not just you know your your run-of-the-mill honda suzuki kawasaki shop that happens to sell gas gas who has a high school kid setting up your bike after smoking two bones on his way from school and uh, forgets to tighten your forks up and it flies out when first jump you over it no we're not, it's not us these are done by the best in the industry. It's not the wizard, it's a manic mechanic, Jimmy Laurinaitis. All our techs have 30 plus years experience and have won multiple local and national championships like these 26 number one plates that we have on the roof here. So we don't screw around, these bikes are gonna be top shelf. The comment about the high school kids setting up bikes is, guys straight up, I worked for New England Cycle Sales, I was a high school kid with zero training and I used to set up brand new bikes and they'd let me test ride them, which was a bad idea if you know if, uh, if you know what I'm saying. But that's what that's what I would do. I, I was a 17 year old still in high school setting up brand new bikes, even street bikes. So you never know what quality, you know, you torque these things down wrong, put things on them properly and uh, don't break them in right and they'll never be the same. Three heat cycles, everything's triple checked by the Wiz or by Jimmy Laurinaitis or by the manic mechanic. Yeah. Ronnie, which one are you getting? Well, well if I get myself straightened out, I'm going to get me a gas gas 250F. Uh, You're going to get an enduro? Uh, street, street, not off road? Um, enduro, so I can do on road and off road. And you can ride with Kyle in, in the hair, hair scrambles. He bought the, the 250 enduro. Oh, yeah. Two stroke. That's what he got. You're, you want to get a four stroke? Definitely want to get you to help me out, spec that out. Yeah. Good words of wisdom. Come on down to Captain Cycles, authorized dealer. Get your gas cans here today. As you see, y'all know the deal on the red here. Amen.
Leaving for Rockville soon. Gonna be a gas, gas tycoon. Not only can you buy the bikes here, but you can get these totally tricked out. Go on the Gas Gas website, or we can go on it for you. You can get black rims, black hubs, custom pipes, silencers, special handlebars, gold chains. Uh, if you want custom graphics, Steiger graphics designs, we can build you a custom bike right here. And the best part about it is it'll be immortalized with a video. So you'll get a video of your bike completely customized to your spec. And we can do a custom Steiger Designs graphics kit for you. We can put your racing number on it. We can mount the graphics kit right here. And the best part about it is the whole damn thing gets financed by Gas Gas. Freedom Road Financing. So you can get the bike of your dreams on one small monthly payment. The 125s are like $7,200. If you do a five year, six year loan on those, you can get your payments down to what it would cost you for a cup of coffee and a donut every day. Guys, $73.49 will buy a brand new 2023 Gas Gas 125. And you can finance that. Kenny, if I buy that bike for $72.49 plus, obviously tax and shipping and delivery and all that stuff, but how long can I finance it for? Yeah, Freedom Road. Uh, KTM Group is with Freedom Road. Really phenomenal rates on Gas Gas product. Uh, more aggressive than the, the, the Jap like products that Freedom Road offers. but. They got 24 to 36 months, 38, uh, excuse me, 48 month financing, 60, 72, and 84. And the so rates get adjusted depending so, on so how long. So you can go 84 months, 84 months that's set on a bike that, uh, Guys, call 80, 84 months on a bike that, that it, it could probably be $100 a month or something like that, you yeah. know? Cheap calling, we can get you pre approved. So, that, so guys, five bucks a week. You can't even go to Dunkin' Donuts for seven days in a row for less than the cost of your coffee and a brand new gas gas. So give us a call, 860 454. 7024. We'll see you in the winter circle. I'm going to show you the bikes that just showed up. We got a whole shipment on the fourth floor. A few bikes up here. It's one of four floors chock full of motorcycles. I don't even know how many we got. Hundreds. My grandmother used to collect elephants, so all around the museum you find elephants. But it's got to have the trunk up. Trunk's up for good luck. Fourth floor. Well, well, well. A Sand Spider 250. An Alpha 1 490. A Sand Spider 490. A Sand Spider 490. These are the ones that just came in. Magna V45. Badass V4. Kawasaki Scepter 750. A beautiful Honda Nighthawk S. A gorgeous CB900 Custom. This is a beautiful... Bridgestone Sport 90, a Bridgestone Sport 175, and look at this RD, guys. Yamaha RD 250, and here's a 350. I've never even seen one of these before. Bridgestone 350 GTR. It looks like a like a uh, well, like an RD 350 from that era. Really cool piece, a little ripper. But look at this little Yamaha. This thing, this Yamaha. It's beautiful. It has, dude. It's got 18 original miles on it. It's probably the only. Last new NOS Yamaha RD 250 left on the planet. And one lonely gas gas. Ronnie, how many how many bikes you think are in here? Hundreds. Hundreds? Hundreds? Y'all know the deal. Hold on a second. has got something he wants to sh share with you guys. What have we got here? We got a looks looks to Ronnie good. Mac, when you coming down, son? You know, you you know you you know you need to come down here to the museum. We got a 500 cc Magnum Eagle, okay? Four strokes. Tell them about the Magnum Eagle. The Magnum Eagle, one of the baddest bikes has ever put out there. But the only thing is missing is lop off the fenders. Well, we got well, when Ron comes down, he gets to lop off the fenders himself. He's coming down here in October. We, we're doing a grass drag race, and uh, yeah, Ron, I don't like Uncle Ron. Do not like four strokes. This is up. This is my my other. Cousin, Uncle Gomer, we're all related. Uncle Gomer, Uncle Ronnie, and me, we're all in the same family tree. Some people say Ron might be, be my son. I don't know, we haven't had a DNA test done, but it could be. What do you got here, Ron's Blue Ribbon? Yes, sir. Good yeah. shit. Uncle Ron. Yep, ready to saw the fenders off for that aerodynamic extra speed. How about a rare Mugen Honda CR250? What do you got here, son? Nice Nighthawk. Wow, is that, is that one shipping out? 
No, this one, we just got it in. It's going to uh, oh, the good. Manic Mechanic. Oh, wow, look at this thing. Yep. Can't wait to hear this thing fill the jungle with sound. <whistles> That's a pretty bike right there. Wow, look at them shocks on there. Hell yeah. Dude, the, the paint job is just stunning on this thing. I don't know if the camera's doing it justice. Probably not. Wow. It is nice. It's going on the mechan Manic Mechanics bench. They'll have this thing purring like a kitten. Ronnie, Ronnie found something he likes. What do you like, Ron? We got the four tube lowers looking really good. The brake rotor with the grooves in it. It looks brand new. Perfectly aluminum lip rim. Ron, nice. Ronnie's a professional detailer, so he's got an eye for that kind of stuff. You know how you know you know how much work it is to make it look like that. If it ain't like that to begin with, man, that's I'm, I'm talking about either ours or that's just brand new, never written. It looks brand new. Yeah, I think it's. Uh, Holy shit! Evil Knievel must have left his bike here. What's up, Holmes? We got an XR900 here. Look at this bad boy. Oh my god. Makes my heart beat fast. <laughs> Pretty bird. <laughs> Pretty bird. Where's James? That's the Bixby house right up there. We all, we own that house. Restored it and I live right here. So we're never more than 15 seconds from the front door. If you know what I'm saying. Hashtag, where's James? Hi. Where okay. you been? Maryland, outside of Baltimore. Where you headed now? The other side of this Connecticut. <laughs> and um, then on to North Carolina and Florida. North Carolina and Florida, man. You're going all over the place. Have fun. Be safe. Thanks. And thanks for delivering all the beautiful bikes to us today. Oh, no problem. Hashtag, where's James? Hey, it's not all glory around here. Sometimes... We gotta take out the trash. So that's what we're doing right now, taking out the trash. Trash, yours truly, literally and figuratively. Hey, there ain't no special people around. We all do it, right? We all do it, that's it. We got the popo watching the place too. Popo on the job. Ruba Gruba, open up the door. It's burning. Gotcha. Well, hello Dolly, look at this one. <whistles> that is one pretty Husqvarna. Back when I was a young lad, Husqvarna sponsored me and gave me a two brand new 1986 Husqvarna's an 86 250 CR and a 500. And what do we have over here? Over here. And I've been eternally grateful and bought nothing but but uh, nothing. I bought nothing but uh, Husqvarna chainsaws and weed whackers my whole life. And Husqvarna motorcycles, lots of them. What you got here, son? We got the doc in the house over here. What's going on, doc? Yes, sir. What do you got here, doc? 1970. Honda 750. Wow. That's a beauty, huh? Definitely. Beautiful. This is 1970. Has original pipes on it. It's going to be a beauty. I can't wait to ride this thing. It's polishing up nice, huh? Yes, it is. Guys, I don't know if you remember this bike. This is the one we pulled out of the hoarder's house in New York City. Uh, he had it in his basement and uh, stored indoors, so it was really well preserved. These are the original pipes, man. HM 300s. You just don't see them like this, Doc. When's the last time you seen a set of pipes like that? Oh, that's so beautiful. Beautiful. Doc's in the house. Got a beautiful painting coming up real soon. We'll be running this one for you probably this week. Just uh, going to put some Christie's doing the uh, number plate graphics. Got a nice YZ or, uh, yeah, is this an MX 400? I think it's an MX 400. Yamaha. Man, I don't know about this one. Ronnie, this one needs some love, man. What happened? It was left for dead. We'll try to revive it. You got me and Dean sleeping in the parking lot. We're still praying every day to come up with the funds to fix these buildings. We got a grant coming from the government and we have 57,000 we raised and fundraisers to redo the roofs. And uh, it's gonna happen this year, man. But it's a lot of money. And uh, we're, we haven't got the grant yet, so as soon as we do, we're gonna get going. Resurrecting Rockville, one building at a time.